Over the last couple of months, we've been hearing a lot of discussions surrounding the idea of an impending recession. There's been discussions of the great resignation, of inflation, of supply chain shortages, of the government propping up the economy, and more. And though I will admit these are all really big red flags and they certainly shouldn't be ignored, I also don't know with 100% certainty if there will be a recession. Recessions to an extent are cyclical, and if somebody predicts a recession often enough, they are eventually going to be right. And so though I don't know Know if a recession is coming anytime soon, I think it's always a good idea to have a game plan in place, and that's exactly what I want to discuss today. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down some recession proof side hustles that you can pursue in case the recession does come. All of these side hustles are one that you can pursue and are ones that have proven to thrive in times of economic downturn. So these are really great ways to make some extra money if and when a recession does hit. So let's get started. Now, whenever we're talking about recession-proof side hustles, there are a few industries and a few categories of side hustles that I think will do exceptionally well. This is because of the fact that it is either number one, a necessary service, meaning it's a service that has to be done regardless of somebody's financial situation. A necessary service would be something like a plumber. If your toilet is clogged or your pipes are broken, you have to call a plumber. It doesn't matter if you don't have a lot of money to spare. You have to call a plumber. It is a necessary expense. Well, on the flip side, if your computer breaks and you need to buy a new computer, you may be able to push back the purchase of a brand new MacBook because of the fact that that may not be considered a necessary purchase. Whenever you're looking at side hustles that are considered to be recession proof, keeping the necessary from the unnecessary in mind is something that will help you identify side hustles worth pursuing. Additionally, side hustles that save people money. This is another one that will skyrocket during times of recession because of the fact that people are trying to save pennies. They will opt to go the cheaper route because of the fact that they are keeping a closer eye on their budget. For example, going with a used car rather than a new car. This is something that is extremely common during times of economic downturn. And lastly is finding industries that really thrive during periods of recession and then figuring out a way to leverage those industries to make you money. For example, accounting and financial advisors is an industry that does exceptionally well during recession. Beer, wine, and liquor sales also do very well during economic downturn. And lastly is discount retailers. All of these are industries that not only survive during times of recession, but do exceptionally well. Now that doesn't mean that you need to go open up a beer, wine, and liquor store, but I do think it's good to recognize these industries. That way you know how to leverage them to your advantage. So now that we know these aspects of recession-proof businesses that we should be aware of, Let's now dig into the specific side hustles that I think will do exceptionally well whenever we do have a recession. But before we dig into that, if you guys could do me a huge favor and if you could hit the like button and hit the notification bell for the YouTube algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. This helps let YouTube know that you guys are enjoying my content and thus it pushes my YouTube channel out to a new audience, helping my channel grow. So if you guys could do that, I would greatly appreciate it. Now the very first side hustle that I want to talk about is peer-to-peer -peer car sharing. Now I know, I know I'm in love with peer-to-peer -peer car sharing, so it may come off a bit biased that I'm including this in this list, but let me explain why. I believe that peer-to-peer -peer car sharing, specifically on platforms like Turo, are one of the most recession-proof side hustles that you can pursue. The fact is, is that people need a car, especially depending on where you live. There are simply some cities that you cannot function in without a vehicle. Dallas-Fort Worth is one of those cities. Dallas-Fort Worth is so spread out that if you do not have a car, you are going to have a very, very difficult time really going anywhere. This is of course not the case everywhere, but it is in large metroplexes. Whenever we're in times of recession, there are people that may not be able to afford to own their car anymore. Maybe their car needs too much upkeep. Maybe it has a major repair they can't afford. Maybe they just simply don't want to have a car. Whenever these types of people need a vehicle, they can turn to platforms like Turo in order to access a car temporarily. But it's not just any type of business model on Turo that I think is recession proof. You see, I don't think you can get away with renting Maseratis, Lamborghinis, BMWs, Mercedes on Turo. And I don't think that would be considered recession proof because nobody needs to drive a Lamborghini. I think that where this business model can become extremely recession proof is whenever you're renting out low-end economy cars for an extremely cheap price. The need for cars never goes away regardless of the economic outlook and being somebody that can provide people with vehicles is something that will be incredibly valuable whenever a recession does come. 
If you're somebody who's interested in joining Turo, I highly encourage you to look into this business model because I do believe that this type of business model is recession proof. And if you're somebody who has a Turo fleet full of maybe higher end cars, I encourage you to look at this as an option, at least to diversify your fleet. Because I think that if a recession does come, those vehicle owners that have all high end luxury cars, they will end up really getting hit the most. And adding in some low end economy cars could be a great way to offset some of that risk. Now, if you guys are interested and learning about this in a bit more detail, I do have a car sharing course called the Car Sharing Masterclass, which talks you through this entire business model. If you use the code recession, you can get $25 off. Next is a mobile notary service. Now this is one side hustle that leverages off of an industry that typically thrives during times of recession. Interest rates are typically very low during times of recession. And as a result, a lot of people are buying properties and people that already own properties oftentimes will use this time in order to refinance their loans. And whenever you either get a loan or you refinance a loan, you need a notary in order to get the job done. People are busy and people are lazy. And as a result, they may not want to go drive to get a document notarized. The other thing is, is that with COVID-19 and the pandemic, I've noticed that notary services are harder and harder to find. For example, before the pandemic, I could easily just go to my local Chase Bank or Bank of America and get something notarized. But now I've noticed that every time I go there, their notary is never in or I have to schedule an appointment for a few days later. Sometimes that simply doesn't work and you need something notarized right here and right now. And that's when you can utilize mobile notary services. Mobile notaries can make anywhere between 75 and $150 per notarization. So even if you're somebody that only does a couple of these per week, you can make a lot of extra money. Now, the exact ways that you can become a notary really depend from state by state. The exact rules vary quite a lot. So if you're somebody that is interested in becoming a notary so that you can start this type of side hustle, I encourage you to look up online how to become a notary in blank state. And I would encourage you to start the application process as soon as possible. That way, if a recession does come, you're prepared to hit the ground running. Next is mobile mechanic. Whenever the economy is struggling, people are less apt to buy a new car. They are more apt to spend the money to keep their current car running. This is something that has proven itself time and time again. Mechanic and automotive based industries do exceptionally well during times of economic downturn because somebody would rather spend a thousand dollars to be able to keep their car for another year than spend $45,000 buying a new car. Not only the fact that automotive based industries do exceptionally well during times of recession, Session, but also the fact that we are in a time period where people want instant gratification. They want something and they want it done now and they want it brought to them. By doing a mobile mechanic service, you're combining these two things into like the perfect combination. You're feeding into the fact that automotive based industries thrive during times of recession and you're providing that instantaneous service that so many people want. I think that there are a lot of ways that you can go about doing this side hustle. In fact, this is something that HP and I are in talks of pursuing in 2022. Now I'm not going to go into a ton of detail here, but I will be creating more videos on this in the future. But I think that there is a lot of opportunities for a mobile mechanic based business. And if you're somebody that is good at working on cars, you can communicate with guests. You have a basic understanding of business. I think that this is a really great side hustle that you can pursue. And I truly think it could spin off into a full-time business. Next is content creation. Now this is one that I absolutely love because I think it is like the most recession proof side hustle out there. And that includes doing things like starting a YouTube channel, starting a podcast, starting a TikTok and Instagram, really kind of being a social media influencer. The thing is, is that social media is free for the consumer. So it doesn't really matter if we're in times of recession because of the fact that your videos, your content doesn't cost money to digest. For example, this YouTube video that you guys are watching right now, you don't have to pay to watch it. And yet I'm getting paid to make it that type of relationship between the creator and the viewers, I think is like the perfect combination for any type of recession, because you don't have to convince people to buy any sort of product. They just have to enjoy your content, creating content, whether that be a blog, a podcast, a TikTok, a YouTube channel, whatever the case is, is such a cool side hustle. And the fact that it is recession proof is just icing on the cake. Now, depending on what type of content you enjoy making, you could also do exceptional 
exceptionally well during times of economic downturn. For example, if you're a mechanic and you're really good with cars, your videos would probably do very well during times of recession because of the fact that people want to fix their cars rather than get them repaired. If you're somebody that makes videos like I do about making money, then your videos will probably do well during times of recession. So similar to the different industries that we're talking about in this video, different video niches also do very, very well during times of economic downturn. But regardless of your niche, regardless of your interest, regardless of the type of online content you want to pursue, I think that online content creation is such a great side hustle, but it is an exceptionally good one whenever we're in a recession. And the last side hustle that I want to talk about is flipping items. And the types of items you flip are quite honestly irrelevant. It just depends on your own interests. The industry of buying used absolutely thrives whenever the economy is struggling. Buying used items on Facebook, Craigslist, Auto Trader, really any type of product that has been used is something that does exceptionally well. So if you're somebody that enjoys flipping items, whether that be clothes, furniture, electronic, cars, this is a really great time to really hone in that skill and that interest and use it as a way to make extra money. With that being said, you guys, I wanted to make this video because though I don't know if a recession is coming anytime soon, I do think it's a good idea to always be prepared and to always have a game plan in case a recession does occur. Now, there are a ton of different side hustles that you can pursue in times of economic downturn, but these specific ones that I've discussed in this video, I think are particularly recession proof. And I think if you're somebody who's looking for extra ways to make money, these are really good starting points. Like always, if you guys have any questions, comments, if you have anything to add, make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.